Welcome to the Senior End of the Year Update. Congratulations on getting this far. You're almost to the graduation stage. This presentation is packed full of information you'll need to finish your senior year. There is also information we need to collect from you to ensure you're properly recognized at graduation and other events. Feel free to review this presentation later so you don't miss anything. We will have it posted on the BHS website as well as the Class of 2021 Schoology Group. Now let's take a look at what's happening over the next couple of months. Let's take a look at some important dates coming up. First of all, if you applied for the Tennessee Promise, you should be receiving an email from TSAC very soon with details about what to do next in order to stay qualified for that scholarship. April 24th is the tentative date for prom. That's all I know right now. We don't have details about a location, but I know that they're working on that. April 28th will be the academic awards, and that's gonna be online. More details will be coming about, out about that soon. May 3rd is when AP testing begins. You can go to the College Board website to see um, what specific day your AP tests will be given. May 14th through the 19th are senior exams. Don't have details right now about which exams are given on which days, but I know that they will be May 14th through May 19th. May 16th is the baccalaureate at 3 p.m and they're still working on a location for that event. And um, we'll be talking about that in more detail in just a little bit. Graduation practice is going to be Thursday, May 20th at 10 o'clock in the morning at the James C. Parker football field. So it's here at Brentwood High School, um, again on May the 20th. Um, graduation is gonna be Saturday, May 22nd at 10 a.m. on the James C. Parker football field here at Brentwood High School. In the event of rain on that day, the plan after that would be May 22nd at 7 p.m., same location. And if it got rained out for that one, our second plan would be May 23rd at 2 p.m. at the same location, James C. Parker football field here at Brentwood High School. Baccalaureate is another event we always have right before graduation. This year it's going to be on May 16th. Um, it's at 3 o'clock, and the location is still pending, but we will certainly update you when we get that taken care of. Um, this event is optional for students and parents, but it is um, a really nice opportunity for seniors to be together one last time, so we highly encourage everyone to attend. Students will wear their graduation gowns, but no caps. Appropriate dress is required underneath the gown. Men are going to wear um, dress shoes and khaki-colored pants, no jeans or shorts. Um, wear a light blue or white dress shirt with a tie. Women, you're going to wear dress shoes or sandals, no purses because there's no place to keep them safe. Um, and the same dress code is required for both um, during graduation. Students need to arrive at least 30 minutes prior to the event. And wherever we have the, the event, um, parking will fill up quickly, so get there as soon as you can. Now let's talk about the main event, graduation. Seniors, you will have a graduation practice and a luncheon. Practice will be held on May 20th at the James C. Parker football field at Brentwood High School. Attendance is mandatory for all students. If you work, you should inform your employer that you will not be able to work from 10 a.m. to 1 p.m. on May the 20th. No caps and gowns should be worn, dress is casual. Lunch will be provided by the 2021 senior parents. All transcripts and honors cords will be distributed during graduation practice. And you will learn about your location for the start of the ceremony, where you sit, and how and when you'll be awarded your diploma. Let's go over some graduation highlights. As I said before, graduation will be Saturday, May 22nd, and it starts at 10 a.m. at Brentwood High School, James C. Parker Field. Students must arrive by 9 a.m. Students will wear their caps with tassels and gowns. Appropriate dress code must be followed, as I talked about earlier in the baccalaureate slide. Students dressed inappropriately will be pulled from the graduation line and not allowed to participate. Guests should allow for extra time for parking. There's open seating, no tickets required. 
In the next few slides, we're going to talk about how you can request your final transcript. We're going to review some scholarship information, and we're going to let you know about some information that we need to collect from you. Let's review the requirements for the Tennessee Lottery Scholarship. Students can automatically earn the HOPE Scholarship by scoring a minimum 21 composite on the ACT or have a cumulative GPA of a 3.0. To earn the supplement, which is the General Assembly Merit Scholarship or the GAM Scholarship, students have to score a minimum 29 ACT and have a final, final cumulative GPA of a 3.75. As a reminder, the Lottery Scholarship Grading Scale is different from the Williamson County Grading Scale. State law requires that students for lottery scholarships and other state scholarship funds be evaluated using a uniform grading scale. That scale is listed below. Only this scale will be used for the state lottery scholarship purposes. The Williamson County grading scale shall be used for all other official purposes, including report cards, transcripts, GPA, honor roll, and other things. The three points added to honors and five points added to AP classes count in the state calculation. Let's talk about final transcripts and scholarship awards. Your senior counselors need to know a few things about you in order to properly recognize you at graduation. We need to know where to send your final transcripts, what type of honors diploma you believe you earned, and we always collect a list of scholarships that seniors were offered, not necessarily that you accepted, but that you were offered. This information is merged into one final figure for the entire senior class and announced at graduation. We do not announce individual student scholarships. In order to collect all this information, we've created a senior questionnaire Google Doc, and we need every senior to fill this out by May the 1st. The link is below. There are two honors diplomas seniors could qualify for, the Williamson County Honors Diploma or the Tennessee Honors Diploma. The requirements to receive the Williamson County Honors Diploma are students have to have taken four credits of science, they have to have 14 credits at the honors or AP level, all middle school math or foreign language classes count as honors classes, and they have to have a 3.75 GPA. To qualify for the Tennessee Diploma with Honors, students must meet the, all the ACT benchmarks. That means they have to score an 18 in English, a 22 in math, a 23 in science, and a 22 in reading. In addition to the honors diplomas, there are two distinctions that seniors could qualify for, the Tennessee Diploma with Distinction and the Work Ethic Distinction. In order to receive the Tennessee Diploma with Distinction, students must have a cumulative GPA of a B or higher and attain one of the following. Earn a nationally recognized industry certification, participate in at least one of the governor schools, participate in one of the all-state musical organizations, be selected as a national merit finalist or semifinalist, attain a score of 31 or higher composite on the ACT, attain a score of three or higher on at least two AP exams, earn 12 or more semester hours of transcriptive post-secondary credit, or earn statewide recognition at a skill or knowledge-based state tournament, convention, or competition hosted by a statewide student organization or qualify for national recognition by a national student organization. In order for a student to achieve the work ethic distinction, they have to score a minimum 20 points out of a possible 40 on the industry developed employability standards. If a student is working towards a focus area in a CTE or career and technical focus area offered at Brentwood High School, they would complete the application and turn it in to their CTE teacher. If they are a non-CTE student, their applications will go to one of the senior counselors to be processed. Students are responsible for obtaining all the information required in the application packet, and a link to the packet is at the bottom of this slide. We recognize that many students not only dedicate their time and energy to their schoolwork, but they also find time to volunteer in the community. We would like to recognize these students at graduation. Seniors can achieve the volunteerism diploma if they have done 10 hours of community service work each semester since the start of their freshman year. 
Final exam exemptions is a privilege reserved only for seniors. Seniors must have an A and no unexcused absences in order to be exempt.